you're done wheels and tires. I know a lot of people love the look of these torque thrust twos or torque thrusts in general. They've been around a long time. It's a classic style and I know you just can't go wrong with them. For us, it just doesn't fit the style of this truck or because this cam hits like a drunk stepdad and it's got such a muscle truck feel to it. These wheels just don't set that off. I do have a buyer for them, so they are already sold. And these are 245 4020s and we're gonna switch to a 245 4520 in the front so it can have about as much sidewall as the rears, and we're staying with this size in a 315 3520. This new setup, I'm really excited about. As usual, I reach out to Steven at Wheel411, link in the description and on screen. These are that new new. Kids still saying that? Riddler 610s. I have not seen a set out in the wild, and to date, I haven't even seen a set of these on Riddler's social media. We're sticking with the 20 by 10s in the rear, and 20 by eight and a halfs in the front, and they only offer 20s in this backspacing, which is zero offset. Take a look at these suckers. I've already gotten in here and removed some of the little sock and protection that they put on them. Now, one thing that you may or may not like, these have a little more lip on them, and it's not because the offset's different. It's because if you look the way this wheel is made, it sits right here on the face of the hub or the brake drum. It has quite a bit of distance to the face of the wheel, which means it, it just sits further out on the rim than a wheel like that does that's thinner in the center. You can get these with a flat black center or this silver look, which is almost like a bronze silver if I had to make a guess at it. Thought this would look better with the black and the red. Maybe if it was gloss black center, we might've entertained that. But you know what? The great thing about a painted wheel is we can always repaint this center in the future if we so desire. Now, when it comes to tires, also from Wheel 411, and to be honest with you, I couldn't touch the pricing that he sells these things anywhere else on the internet. These are full ways. Again, I haven't heard of those, but it's a 108, uh, the 110 XL. These have a uh, traction A, temperature A, and a tread wear of 380. So really great for street use. They do have the rim guard built onto them and a proper load rating to run on a light truck. One of the things I love about ordering from Steven at Wheel 411, I don't know if he's gonna give you free stickers or not, but he usually almost always throws in a free shirt and they're not cheap junk shirts like you get on some of these internet places and they look great. <laughs> Your results may vary. Now these new Riddler 610s, I wanna say retail would be somewhere in the $1,300 range plus tax and shipping if you're having them delivered. But I'm gonna tell you right now, go to the link in the description if you're interested in some of these and reach out to Steven because that man knows how to hook up customers. Front tires should be here today from FedEx. So we're gonna go ahead and get our truck raised up and ready to go pull the wheels and tires off and take care of something else. The brake dust we were getting on our wheels was killing me, and I understand why TCI used these pads. They are fantastic um, stock on a dime, but these rascals would just blacken the wheels in like 50 or 60 miles of normal driving. I can't imagine if you used them on like an autocross or something, it would take like one lap. They also squealed a little, and you can kind of see how it looked like the material was kind of I don't know, like these large chunks of metal in there, which put those grooves on the rotor. So I went on Hawk's website to see what fits our truck. And it turned out it's these ceramic pads because they are low dust and low noise. And that's kind of what we're after. We're not tracking this thing. So if it doesn't stop quite as well, that's fine with me. I don't need race car brakes. I'd rather have clean wheels and quiet operation. Inside the box, we've got a cool sticker, which you know where that sucker's going grease pack and then both sets of pads these were about a hundred dollars on amazon probably pretty close pricing to that no matter where you purchase them and it looks like i guess just the inside ones are slotted and tapered and then the outer ones are flat and kind of squared away where areas on our old pads can tell us where we should put the grease on the new ones because that's where it's going to make contact with the calipers and the piston. One thing I found kind of interesting is these pads that came with our front suspension have squealers on them. 
and the hog pads don't. And these are all assembled. I put a little of that brake grease on these pins, so that little bit of slide that happens out here, I will be free to do so. I did hit these with a scuff pad on the inside and outside, just in hopes of a fresher mating surface. And then Anna sees on the threads and a little bit on this hub face. Now this is the look we were going for. So sinister, a much tougher look to it. Again, these are great for classic cars and certain C10s probably, but this looks pretty rowdy. I'm gonna try to get some more shots um, and comparison. Yeah, we gotta do a walk around video. By the way, if you have questions about this truck, there's an entire build series on this YouTube channel from the day I purchased it all the way up until the video you're watching right now. So if you have any questions about any products that are used, please check the YouTube channel. Thanks.